Oh, glory. I love the Lord this morning. How about you? Amen. Amen. Let's go to the Word of God today. Let's turn to 2 Corinthians chapter 12. Keep your Bibles handy. We'll be flipping from Scripture to Scripture if you want to follow along. Amen. 2 Corinthians chapter 12. Y'all don't mind me, I normally don't preach or try to talk with something in my mouth, but I'm going to have to keep something, keep my throat moist. Second Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 9. And he said unto me, my grace is sufficient for thee. Isn't that wonderful to know this morning that God's grace is sufficient Amen. For my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Verse 10 says, therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in necessities, in persecutions, in distresses for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then Am I strong? Praise God. Lord, we come to you for the word of God this morning that our ears would be open. As you said in the book of Revelation many times, he that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit had to say. I pray, Lord, for that this morning in this congregation, that ears and hearts would be open and be receptive to you, Lord. Oh, God, I know that we can never receive nothing unless we open the door. And I pray, God, Oh, that we would come to our spiritual sense today and open that door to your will and what you would have to say to us. In Jesus' name we pray it. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. One commentator said, if this should seem like a bit the rising, remember that the ways the greatest Christians have come out of the hard times and tough situations tribulations actually work for their spiritual perfection and that they, they, they taught and that they taught them to trust not in themselves but in the Lord who raised the dead they learned that the enemy could not block their progress unless they surrendered their urgings of the flesh and began to complain and slowly they learn to stop complaining and start praising. It is that simple and it works. Amen. Amen. I want to preach to you this morning on it works. It works. If you've ever wondered in your life, does God really work? Does the presence of the Lord really work in my life? Does the Holy Ghost really work? Does that old time religion we sung about this morning, does it really work? I'm here to tell you today it does work. Praise God, you got your testimonies, but amen, I want to tell you mine this morning. Praise the Lord, I'm so thankful to be in this house of God all of my life. And I can tell you after 40 years that it still works. Amen, it works this morning. And I want to continue to give my life to the Lord. Continue to give him honor, him praise, all that he's done for us. Praise God. Psalms chapter 37, Psalm 37 and verse 23. Psalm 37 and verse 23, brother. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. Though he fail, he shall not be utterly cast down, for the Lord upholdeth him with his hand. I have been young and now I'm old, yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. It works. It works. He is ever merciful and lendeth 
and his seed is blessed. Depart from evil and do good and dwell forevermore. Amen. That ought to tell us right there from the experience of David that it works. Praise God. It works. Hallelujah. James Hudson Taylor said God's work done in God's way will never lack God's supply. Would you use that side, Brother Nathan? God's work done in God's way will never lack God's supply. Numbers chapter 24 and verse 17 says, I shall see him, but not now. I shall behold him, but not nigh. There shall come a star out of Jacob, and a scepter shall rise out of Israel. Listen closely to this scripture. And shall smite the corners of Moab and destroy all the children of Sheth. Now it was almost 1,500 years after that these words here in Numbers chapter 24 were spoken before that that star came. Now we all know who that star is, don't we? That was Christ. And he did come. The Lord always keeps his word, doesn't he? You imagine that 1,500 years, 1,500 years. We're, you know, some of our, our lifespan here on this earth is what, 80, 90 years. Maybe if some get real blessed, they might see 100. We're talking 1,500 years later. Uh, you know, uh, I'm sure that uh, people probably thought, oh, this is just a fairy tale. That was just something somebody had to say. But God never fails. Amen. Matthew chapter 2. Here's where we'll read about whenever the promise came. This just falls right in with Christmas right here. Matthew chapter 2 and verse 1 says, Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, <coughs> behold, there came... Wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen the, his star in the east and are come to worship him. I'm going to tell you, wise men still seek Jesus. Praise God. Amen. I uh, hope you're following along with me. Uh, back to remind us, back in Numbers 24, he said, This star shall come out of Jacob. And then it's, it's revealed here in the book of Matthew. Now let's go back to the Old Testament in Isaiah chapter 55. Isaiah 55 and verse 1 says, Ho, everyone that thirsteth, come ye to the waters, and he that hath no money, come ye buy and eat. Yea, come, buy wine and milk without money and without price. Wherefore do you spend for that which is not bread, and your labor for that which satisfieth not? Hearken diligently unto me, and eat ye that which is good, and let your soul delight itself in fatness. You might be wondering where are we going with this this morning. Remember our text, uh, or our subject this morning, it works. What is it? Christ. Amen. I, I'm not really calling Christ to it, but Amen. Following the ways of God. Listening to God. Amen. Following the ways of Christ. It does work. Talking about the process. It works. He works. Praise the Lord. And if we'll look closely at this 55th chapter in Isaiah, he's, he tells us a bunch of promises. Amen. If you need some promises this morning, be sure to follow along. It says, verse 3, incline your ear. Come unto me. Here in your soul shall live, and I will make an everlasting covenant. With you, even the sure mercies of David. Behold, I have given him for a witness to the people, a leader and commander to the people. Behold, thou shalt call a nation that thou knowest not. And nations that knew not thee shall run unto thee because of the Lord God. For the Holy One of Israel, for he hath glorified thee. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. 
Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him. And to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways. And my thoughts higher than your thoughts. Let me stop for a moment right there. And I want us to understand, amen, that whenever we do get caught up in our life, amen, whenever you can't uh, be told spiritually, I want to tell you, I want to remind you that God's ways is higher than your ways. You may not understand what God's doing in your life. You're not supposed to understand. You have never had a promise that says that you're going to understand. Does anybody read that anywhere in your Bible this morning? He don't say you're going to understand it. But he says, trust me. Follow me. Amen. Holy commit yourself unto me. Amen. And I will add, it works. Praise the Lord. It works. Amen. I don't know. Amen. If you may have been weary here lately. Maybe you felt like you fell off the train a little bit. I don't know. But I want to remind you that God's ways do work, amen. This is not just a way of life. It is just not something that you can choose. You know, oh, that's fun. I'd like to do that for a while. That's not what it's about. But I want to tell you what, the ways of the Lord are precious. Amen. They are everlasting. They bring peace to the soul. Amen. They bring everlasting life. Amen. And it works this morning. It'll work in your life. If we will learn to commit our way to Jesus, if we'll learn to commit our ways to Christ and to love him with all of our heart, with all of our soul. Amen. Verse 10 says, For as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven and returneth not thither, but watereth the water and maketh it bring forth and bud, that it may seed, give seed to the sower and bread to the either. Oh, I hope this word is helping you this morning. Amen. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. See, he's telling us, well, here's what it's supposed to be like. My word will be just like this. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. And it shall prosper in all thing where and in the thing whereunto I sent it. Praise the Lord. Amen. I want to tell you what, if God saved you like he did the other Sunday morning right there, brother. Amen. If God touched your heart and called you out, I want to tell you what, he didn't call you out to leave you hanging. Amen. He's going to lead you on. Praise the Lord. I want to tell you what, if you'll keep your hand in his. Amen. He's going to lead you, brother. Amen. Just like he's led every one of us. Praise God. And that's the hard thing because the devil is always seeking to kill Amen. To destroy everything that you've ever had in God. He's standing there, Brother Ed. He's trying to talk you out of holding to God's hand. He's trying to talk you out of holding to the Lord's hand. You don't need God's presence like, you, like they say. You don't have to be so, uh, you know, uh, serious about all that. But I want to tell you what. Amen. Don't let the devil talk you out of giving up on God. Praise the Lord. I'm going to tell you what. Hey, man, you, you remember the, the, the plaque of the footprints in the sand. Whenever that, that person that was riding said, Lord, what is it? Whenever I only see one footprints, Lord, did you leave me? He said, no, that's whenever I picked you up and I carried you. Amen. Praise God. Hey, man, you may find a time in your life where you can't a walk, amen. That's whenever we still got a cold hold to God's unchanging hand. Amen. We got to let God carry us. Praise the Lord. Because he will see us through. Amen. I remember standing here in this pulpit just last ending of last year. Amen. And preaching and saying that I hope to be right here. Amen. The coming of 2020. Praise the Lord. And I'm so glad. Amen. I know 2020 ain't here yet. I could die tomorrow or today or whenever. Amen. But I'm so glad that I'm about to end up another year still holding to God's unchanging hands. Amen. 
Amen. Some may say, well, I wish I was like you and didn't have no problems and, and could just and just stay in there like you do. I tell you what, amen, there's a, there's a lot of things you just don't know. That's all I got to say. Amen. Uh, we, we don't really understand each other's struggles and problems. There have been some of you that's had some bad news from the doctor this past year. There's some of you that's been had some bad news from other places and hardships and hard times. But oh, thank God we're here this morning in the house of God, able to raise our hands and worship him. Praise the Lord and give him glory. Praise God. Amen. I just wonder how many of us this morning that you started off this past January in a whole different atmosphere, a whole different situation than you are today. Amen. I tell you what, I think we owe the king some praise, don't you? Praise the Lord. Amen. He's been so good to us. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to tell you what, it works this morning. It works. I'm telling you, I feel this this morning. Amen. Somebody needs to listen to the Lord today. Praise God. It worked for you. It'll work. It'll continue to work. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Oh, my. This got a hold of me this morning. For ye shall go out with joy. And be led forth with peace. The mountains and the hills shall break forth before you into singing. And all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. How about clapping your hands this morning? Praise God. That's what God can do. That's what God can do. Amen. He can make things around you. He can make the, the world around you. Clap their hands. Praise the Lord. He can make peace in your life. Praise the Lord. Instead, listen, listen to this. He can do that instead of the thorn shall come up the fir tree. And instead of the briar that shall come up in the myrtle tree. And it shall be to the Lord for the name, for a name, for an everlasting sign that shall not be cut off. I'm going to tell you, amen. God can make a briar grow up in your tree. Amen. <coughs> I mean, he knows that briars are not fun. No, they got sharp needles on them. Amen. Amen. But oh, thank God. Yeah, I hope you get this chapter. This whole chapter is telling us Amen. Seek the Lord, and he may be found. Seek the Lord, and he may be found. Praise God. Amen. If we will seek God, seek God in every way of our life. Praise the Lord. His ways are not our ways. Amen. I, there's, a, there's a submission there. Lord, help me to submit to your ways, submit to you in every way in my life. Because I know that it works. I know that it works. Amen. I know how many of you can raise your hands this morning. Just things that you've experienced. Can you testify that it works this morning? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I'm so glad it works. Amen. Everyone wants it done their way in our society today. In commercials, we're told that you can have it your way, <coughs> just like Burger King. But I'm going to tell you what, we can't have it all our way, can we? Oh, amen. People are used to doing things the way they want, no matter what the consequences are. If it feels good philosophy, they say. But oh, help me, Jesus, amen, to do what you want me to do. Praise the Lord. Colossians chapter 2 and verse 6 says, As ye have therefore received Christ, Jesus the Lord, so walk ye in him. Amen. So walk ye in him. Praise the Lord. If we're going to enjoy God's best, if we're going to enjoy the things of the Lord, we have to yield our way to God. Amen. Our work, our walk, our everything to him. Praise the Lord. We must also trust in God. Amen. Have that reliance in the Lord, that reliance, that, that trust. Praise the Lord. 1 Thessalonians 5 and 23 talks about with a whole spirit, soul, and body. Trust in the Lord, that is. Amen. Bank accounts may fail. They do, don't they? Money markets fail. Possessions fail. 
Let me tell you, Jesus never fails. Jesus never fails. He said, I am the beginning and the end. I am the Alpha and Omega. Amen. Praise the Lord. Quit complicating it. If you want life, you need to want Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. If you want life, you got to want Jesus. Amen. There is no life outside of Jesus Christ. Amen. There is no life outside of him. He is the way. Remember the scripture we read? He said, my ways are not your ways. God provided the Christ, his only son, amen, to save this world, amen, that all men through him, that all men through him might be saved. Praise the Lord. Amen. You can be saved this morning. Amen. You can walk out of here. Amen. Having your sins forgiven. Having them washed in the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. And you can be changed. Hallelujah. You just got to want it. Praise the Lord. We have to want it. The scripture says in Psalms chapter 37 and verse 40. And the Lord shall help them and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in him. Not just save and help, but save and help because they trust in him. <laughs> Amen. You know, there's a reward. It says, and he shall bring it to pass. He shall bring it to pass. Proverbs 8 and 32. Now therefore hearken unto me, O ye children, for blessed are they that keep my ways. Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 4. But without faith. It is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Amen. Praise God. Don't you love it this morning? Praise the Lord. I'm so glad that he came to die for me. I'm so glad that God sent him. Amen. That I could possess him. That I could have him. Praise the Lord. Are you that excited about your salvation this morning? <clears throat> John chapter 7 and verse 37. In the last day, the great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, If any man of thirst, let him come unto me and drink. Amen. Are you thirsty this morning? Is there something that's missing in your life? You're tired of that emptiness. You're tired of that void in your life. There's an answer. There's a solution. Let's all stand this morning. Amen. Could we reverence the Holy Ghost this morning? There's a solution for you today. There's a solution. Amen. You, you th this morning, you can decide differently. Is there some that you've just been going through the motions? Maybe your whole life is just going through the motions. Just doing things because somebody told you to do them. But you never understood. You just do it. We can stop that emptiness. You can be for real this morning. You can be genuine. Amen. Praise the Lord. You don't have to be a puppet. But you can experience this good word that we've been reading this morning in your life. You can experience it in your life. That's what all this is about. It, it, nowhere do we read it's about a congregation. This word was personally written to me and you. We're not just in the middle of a crowd. That word is speaking to me, Brother Marvin. It's not to somebody else. I mean, it is, but when I read it, it's to me. It's for me. God's blessings, God's promises, God's ways. When I read them, that's for me. I'm not just following along in the crowd. You can stop that process this morning. 
if you're just following along. If you want this real Jesus that we're preaching about this morning. If you want the real answer. Have you ever asked that question? What's the real answer? Somebody just beat around the bush, will you? We've all had that happen before, haven't we? We're seeking for an answer, and you go to somebody, well, you know, it's this and that, and you know, but, but you know, stop for a minute. I like Brother Dwayne. He's a down-to-earth guy. He likes to be straight. You don't like no around-the-bush talking, do we? If you want to tell me something, tell me something. If you ain't got no answer, just move on. He is the answer. He is the answer this morning. Praise the Lord. These altars are open today. If you'd like to come and pray. Amen. What a better, what, there, is, there wouldn't be a better time that you this morning come and kneel your heart and your life. Amen. Christmas is just a few days away. We're celebrating the birth of Christ. Oh, the best time that's ever been known to man. Oh, the time that God sent his only begotten son to this world. To pay the ultimate price, the ultimate sacrifice for me and you. That you and I could be saved. That you and I could inherit eternal life. Praise the Lord. God can touch your heart this morning. If he's touching your heart, how about saying yes to the Lord? Maybe you've already been saved. How about just asking the Lord, God, help me to keep my heart humble. Help me, Lord, to continue to look to you, to continue to have faith and trust in you in my life. Because your ways work. Your ways work. God's ways work this morning. I am a firm believer of it today. Amen. Praise the Lord. Worship Him this morning.